Today, we're going to check out the new Creality CR200B fully enclosed 3D printer. My name is Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. Like I said, today we're going to check out the Creality 200B. Now this is a fully enclosed 200 by 200 by 200 chamber printer. Creality says it has a new performance nozzle kit that has dual fans. It has a large touch screen on the front. It touts a filament runout sensor just in case you run out of filament or your filament breaks. They're using the glass Creality bed. They have a silent motherboard, which is great because I think all the new ones should be silent. This thing can do online printing if you plug in the Creality box to it and it has internal LEDs in case you want to see what's going on inside. Now it does have a top that goes on that makes it fully enclosed. It's like a hood that sits on the top and we'll see that in a little bit. But it looks like my clone here just got done building this. Wow, this build was easy. That was fast and easy. How does it print? I don't know, that's your job. <laughs> I guess it is my job. Nice work. Now that it's built and ready to go, let's take a closer look at the features of the Creality CR200B. Future Jim here. In this video, I may refer to this printer as a Core XY. In fact, it is not a Core XY. When I was looking at it at first, I, I thought it was. And then upon further investigation, I found out really it acts just like, like an Ender 5. Uh, so it is not a Core XY, it just runs on rails instead of extrusions like the Ender 5 does. And I wanted to point that out now before we get too far in the video and I say Core XY too many times. On with the video. So it does come with the standard Creality equipment. It comes with a small roll of filament. It comes with a bag of tools like normal. You have your manual right here. Of course, extra PTFE tubing, uh, a spatula or scraper. This one actually comes with a glue stick, which is interesting. A little thing of grease, which is great. The SD card, uh, it looks like an extra nozzle and a clip. And this is actually a big Phillips head screwdriver. When I first powered it up, I see a really nice big Creality touch screen here. Uh, it's colored, it's nice, and it's very responsive. So when you touch it, it actually uh, does pretty well in response. So I really like that. At the top, we have this nice clear hood here. Uh, it allows the cables to come through the back. And it's also supposed to allow the heat to stay in when you're printing with more high temp filaments. It is very easy to remove. You just pick, pick it up and pull it off there. So that's pretty cool. It also gives you access to the top if you need to work on it. You just pull this off and you can do that anytime. On the front here, you can see this really nice door that opens and closes. It's magnetic. So it catches and it pulls itself closed there. It's really smooth, it's nice, and it opens us up to the rest of the printer right in here. If we look inside, you can see the build plate here. It is that glass. It does have the clips that pull out, and that allows us to just lift and pull our glass right off the plate if we need to. And then push it back on, and then you just latch the clips just like that to put it back on. It's set up pretty much like an Ender 5 in the back where it has a Z and then two uh, stabilization rods there. And it looks like everything travels on top right here, just like the Ender 5 does. So if we look from the top down here, it appears to be a Core XY machine running on these rails. Uh, that's why they give you the extra grease. They wanna make sure you keep these nice and lubed up. Like I said, it's got a really nice door on the front here that opens and closes. And if we spin this thing around, you can actually see the glass panels here on the side. Uh, this is your on off switch here. This is where your USB card goes. This is where your USB plugs in if you're going to plug it in. If we keep going around here, you can see this is the spool holder here. Uh, this is the filament runout sensor that goes up into a plastic Creality extruder. I would really like to see this uh, metal now. I mean, they've, they've made these extruders for a long time, but everybody, uh, almost, but almost everybody always upgrades these to the metal ones. So I'd like to see the metal ones on here. They just last a little bit longer. Uh, it goes up through your Bowden tube there. If we come back around here, this is where it plugs in in the back of the machine, which is really nice. We got some nice uh, fans right up in here, which is great. And if we come back around this side, you can see again, we have the glass here with the polka dots. All in all, this thing has a really nice shape. I really like the look of this and uh, I hope it prints as nice as it looks.
So I thought I'd turn off the lights so you could see the really cool LEDs that are put in here. It's just a, an LED strip along the front, but it really lights up this printer. It allows you to see the build surface and it gives you a nice visual at night if you want to keep it on. Now this is controlled by the control panel and I'll show you right now. How I found it was I went to temp, device, and then LED fan and air exchange is right in here. So you can turn your LED on and off right there. You can actually turn the fan on or off. And then those two big fans in the back of the case, you can actually turn that on. It's called air change. So you can turn that on. Those both, both those fans start spooling up and it actually circulates air through the enclosure. That's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see right now, I have it at 195 and 45. What I told it to do is preheat to PLA. Now let's show you how we insert the filament. Okay, I've spun the machine around and this is your filament holder here. Uh, I grabbed some Coex Mystery PLA. It's yellow right now and it looks like it's actually gonna go into yellow still. It's a one color filament. This is a Mystery PLA from Coex. I really love Coex filaments. So I'm gonna drop that in just like that. So I already cut this at a 45 angle. So I'm gonna push it uh, straight up through our filament runout sensor, straight up into the extruder arm. So then push it all the way up and through. And this does have quite a long Bowden tube, but that should be okay. Till we get to the end and we can feel it pushing through and I can, I can feel it oozing. So we're gonna stop right there and now our filament's loaded. Okay, the filament's loaded. I put the SD card in, it is time to print. So I'm gonna hit print and everything on the card looks like it's in Chinese. So I am just gonna touch this one. I have no idea what that is. And I'm gonna hit start and future Jim will see you soon. Okay, I wanted to show you this real quick. I did start a print and it's going now. If I go to adjust, you can actually do Z adjust right here. There's an economic feature that turns off the bed after a few layers or after a little while. The LED can turn the LED on and off. There's a fan on, a chassis fan on, and then all your temps. I really appreciate that they added the Z height here, the baby stepping essentially. I like that in the firmwares. It, it helps you dial in things a lot faster. All right, it's been a couple days and I got some really good prints off these things. Now I printed all of the test prints that came on the card, which is these five right here. We have the uh, Creality Cat. We have the little dragon, which came out really nice. Uh, a bunny, a little bunny the Chinese knot, and last but not least, the vase here. Now this did not print in vase mode. It took quite a while, but it looks really, really good. Overall, these prints came out very good. Uh, these were the test prints, like I said, on the card, and I would hope they came out good because they're sliced by Creality. I need to dive into a slicer and get some more stuff printed, but I did have a chance to print the torture toaster. And the Torture Toaster is the newest thing we've came out. It's a collaboration between Clockspring and uh, The Edge of Tech here and Hot Makes, the show Hot Makes. And it is a really cool torture test slash benchy you can use on any printer. And I'll put a link in the description below. So during this print, I actually had two layer shifts though. It shifted about right here, and then it shifted about right there. It all shifted this way. I'm not sure why it did that. I don't know. I have not tried it again, but I do know it definitely shifted and it didn't print correctly. Uh, I can't pop the toast up here. The only thing I can do about is, is fold the doors in and lock the doors. Uh, the toast does not pop out and I think it's just because of the shift. So there is that. But overall, you know what? Uh, print wise, it, <laughs> it's not bad. It just shifted and it obviously it's not going to work when it shifts. I do need to work on getting a profile built for this. There is a Cura profile. And if you go on the GitHub, there is a decent Cura profile, but I'd really like to get this going for Prusa Slicer. It's very close to an Ender 5 with some different retraction settings. So I'm going to work on that going forward in the future. But overall, this thing printed the test prints that were sliced right very, very good. I think once I get used to this thing and once I get a dialed in profile, we'll be really good to go. I really like this machine. It looks nice. It feels nice. It's built well. Uh, the only thing I can say is that they do send a little pack of grease in the kit and you want to make sure you keep those rails greased up really good. Uh, towards the end of the torture toaster, they started squeaking and that might be what caused the layer shifts. I'm not sure. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to re-grease all of these rails and make sure they're really good and greased, but that does come with the printer. So you want to use this and make sure you're greased up before you start printing. Well, that was my look at the Creality CR200B. Uh, overall, good printer. Can I recommend it? I don't know yet. I haven't printed enough with it. 
initial prints look great. Uh, of course, profile needs to be dialed in. But if you're looking for an enclosed printer and this build space is okay for you, I don't think it's a bad printer. I really think it, it prints good uh, as long as you dial it in. So check it out. If you have time, maybe do some more research. There is a link in the description below if you want to see it on the Creality website. And you never know, maybe you pick one up. If you do, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like it, or even if you do like it, let me know in the comments below too. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the Creality CR200B. Well, I hope you guys learned something today. And as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, give me that thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the subscribe button right there if you have not already and click that little bell if you want to get notified anytime a new video comes out or when we go live on Monday night for hot makes. You guys are awesome.